Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today I have a challenge for you, something that Snapper and I are doing. Today we're doing an 8.5 kilometer hike. We're going to set up this station, solar, battery, radio, amplifier, and antenna. We're going to check our Winlink email messages, tear the station down, then hike back home. We do this as a means of testing our gear, our communication strategy while portable, and of course our communications plan. So I'll be using the ICOM IC705, the Chameleon Impus, the DIY 599PA500 amplifier, and finally my Microsoft Surface Go 2 running Winlink Express. So stick with me and uh, let's send and receive some emails. One aspect of portable communications I often forget to mention on the channel is deployment with a dog. We need to train our dogs to be calm enough and patient enough so that we can focus on our communication tasks while they essentially take care of themselves for a short period of time. Now Snapper is happy enough to entertain herself in the water, but she's also taken it upon herself to watch my back when I'm distracted with the radio setup and communications. This is a good thing. Now ultimately, Snapper is a part of the team, and as her team leader, it's up to me to help her understand her role when we're deploying out in the field. So far, it's worked out pretty well. So the first part of the station setup is the antenna. In this case, I'm using the Chameleon Impost 2.0. I've got the spike, I've got the hybrid micro, the mill extension, and the mill whip. At the base of the antenna, I'm using four DIY counterpoise wires, five meters long, spread around evenly at the base of the antenna. Now I use this antenna, a rapid deployment antenna, simply because it's easy to set up and its performance is good enough for regional communications. Now sometimes I get questions about losses from broadband antennas. Certainly resonant antennas are more efficient, but they're also not always as easy to deploy. Now I've been pretty happy with this antenna, especially when using the counterpoise wires. Now for 80, 60 and 40 meters I use the extension, which really helps to get the signal out there. Now for solar power this time I was using the Powerfilm 100 watt folding panel. Now the panel can put up to 6 amps of current into my battery pack, which is more than enough to power the station and keep the battery topped up. For the station I used the ICOM IC705, the PA500 amplifier which actually wasn't needed but I wanted to test my gear. Tying everything together was a Microsoft Surface Go 2 with a Pentium Gold processor. The key benefit of this station configuration versus, for example, the previous Raspberry Pi based configuration we had before is its simplicity. So we've basically removed most of the points of failure we had with the Raspberry Pi configuration while at the same time increasing the performance and capability of the setup. Now for added mobility and to carry the equipment required for Snapper and myself, water, food, the station, bedroll, sleeping mat, everything we would normally carry for one to three days out in the field, we used the hiking trailer. It was kind of overkill, but it was more comfortable than humping a backpack for 10 and a half miles. So really guys, this is it. This is the entire station plus the antenna. So now let's go ahead and connect over 60 meters to Oscar Hotel 6 India Juliet. We'll be using about 30 watts with Winlink Express and Vara HF. Now again, we could probably achieve exactly the same thing with 1 to 5 watts since this is a regional station we're connecting to, but it's important to test each and every component in our setup.
So here's a funny story about this session. One of you wise guys have sent me a picture of your portable ham radio setup while sending a Winlink session. Now that's totally cool, it's absolutely no problem, but I didn't realize that there was this huge file being downloaded over HF to my portable station. Now I love receiving these messages, but it is a little reminder to enable the feature allowing me to see and choose the messages I download before I start downloading them. Anyway, please keep those messages coming I don't always reply in real time or very quickly, but ultimately I will reply. And I love receiving your messages. So the first part of the session was basically downloading messages from Oscar Hotel 6, India Juliet. I went ahead and replied to a few of those messages and now I'm going to send them off, but this time I'll send them out through Lima Alpha 3 Foxtrot. Now for both sessions I used 60 meters and there's a very specific reason for that. Work bands 60, 30, 17 and so on never have any contest traffic. Now work bands are the places QRP operators hide when there are contests going on in the primary bands. Keep this in mind. And there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed this mini episode. I use these mini episodes as a way to fill in the gaps between larger, more in-depth videos which take longer to produce. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm sharing, please let me know by leaving me a comment and or a thumbs up. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.